Hey, what's going on guys? Zombie Project here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the Fire Staff. And not only that, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade it into the Ultimate Fire Staff. There's not many people on YouTube that combined all these steps into one video, and I got that right here for you guys. First part is right here by Generator 6. You're going to want to pick up the disc. If the disc is not in this location, I'm going to show you the two other possible locations where it could be in. Um... The second possible location is right here on the bench where I just shot my ray gun. And then the third possible location is right down here in between the tank and the wall right there. You're going to have to move the tank if it is in that location. You'll have to move the tank in order to grab it. Alright guys, so for part two, you're going to want to activate generator six. Um, you don't have to activate any other generator in order to get this part. Um, all you got to do is activate generator 6 and once you do this a box the box will open and you'll be able to pick up your second piece all right guys let's go and move on to part number three so you're gonna have to kill the zombie boss for this one for the first time um, in the game the first time you kill him during the game he will drop this piece here um, go ahead and pick it up and that is your third part now let's move on to the fourth one you're gonna have to shoot the plane down um, there's a plane with a glowing orb around it flying in the sky you want to shoot that one once you shoot it it will explode and drop a piece and it will always land in this location so now that we got all four parts let's go ahead and get the pieces for the record player Come down here to the lower level of the excavation site and you will find part number one for the record player. This part will always be in this location, um, very easy to find. Now we got to find the disc for the record player, which is right here inside of the wheelbarrow. If it's not in this location, I'm going to show you other possible locations. It could be right here, right by that little engine, or if it's not there. Go ahead and run around to the other side of the excavation site, and you can find it right here, right by the entrance to Generator 6, I believe. Okay, so now, once you have got your record player and you've got all the pieces, come down here to the fire tunnel and put your record player down on the table there, and it will play a beautiful song, and... A teleporter will appear and Joe go ahead and jump through that teleporter and now you're at the crazy place and once you are here you're gonna want to pick up the fire crystal pick up that fire crystal Can the true power of the staff be revealed? go back here stand right here to access your teleporter again When you guys do this, you definitely want to save one zombie. Because it does get crazy down here when you have the whole wave. Okay, so now... Grab your record player. Head back to the lower level of the excavation site. Right below Pack-a-Punch. Put the record player right here on this table here. And again, it will play another beautiful song. And the, the stairs will go ahead and lower down. They will just drop right down. And this location down here is where you can craft the fire staff. So that's it, guys. That's how you build the regular fire staff. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to build the ultimate fire staff. Now that you already got the fire staff built, you can upgrade it into the ultimate fire staff the kick-ass version of the fire staff and let's go ahead and get into that okay so grab your record player come back down to the fire tunnel which is located by the first room put your record player back down on the table and this will activate the teleporter to the crazy place Okay, so go ahead and jump through the teleporter. What you're going to want to do now is there are four torches here. 
One, two, three, four of them. And what you need to do is kill zombies right next to these torches and after you kill a certain amount of zombies, all four torches will catch on fire. As you can see right there, I killed that one zombie and the first torch lit up. So now I only have three more torches to, to go. Okay, so let's go ahead and skip to the end of this round where I go ahead and light the last torch by killing these last couple zombies here. There we go, I got all four torches lit up. Once you get all four lit up, you will hear that sound. That's how you know that you have done it correctly. Go ahead and activate your teleporter and teleport back. Once you hop back through the teleporter, you're going to want to leave your record player on the table because you're going to have to come back to the crazy place in a couple minutes. Um, but next step, you're going to want to come here right by generator 6. There's going to be these markings on the wall. Pay attention to these markings. These markings will be different each game. Um, some of them will be lit, lit up um, one game and then there'll be different ones lit up on different games. This game, um, I had number 5 lit up, number 7 lit up, number 3 lit up, and number 4 lit up. So the markings that you see here will be lit up differently each game. Um, like I said, I had 5, 7, 3, 4 lit up, and um, those markings correspond with the pillars um, you see here, these pillars with the numbers on them. Um, so you're going to want to shoot the pillars with your number. Um, if number four is lit up for you upstairs, um, you're always going to want to shoot number four first, and then after you shoot number four, you're going to want to go left, left to right. Um, so my first number was five, my second number was six, uh, seven, and then my third number was three. And then my last number was four, but because four was lit up, you always want to shoot four first. It's very confusing, guys. I, I, ho I hope you guys get it. hope you guys understand what I'm saying here. But let's go ahead and move on to the next step. If you guys have any questions on that step right there, go ahead and uh, leave me a comment. And I'll get back to you. Okay, guys. Let's move on to the next step. We only have a couple more steps to go. Um, come down here to the lower level of the excavation site right below Pack-A-Punch. And you're going to see these dots here. You're going to want to line up all these dots so they are red. There are four levers that are scattered around this area, and you want to hit these levers to adjust the, uh, the wheel to make all the dots red. Once you have got them all red, there's going to be a red orb that you're going to want to shoot. Once you shoot that red orb, it's going to go ahead and shoot right through the wheels, and it's going to turn um, all the wheels. And once, once that has uh, happened, that's how you know that you have completed this step and you're going to want to move on to the last step. Now head back to the fire tunnel and you're going to want to teleport back down to the crazy place to complete this last and final step. <laughs> once you're down here, you're going to take your fire staff and insert it right into this location here now all you're gonna wanna do here is kill some zombies in front of your fire staff this will collect all the zombie souls and once you have killed enough zombies in front of your fire staff um, you'll hear Samantha basically say the power of the fire is now yours and once you hear her say that that's how you know you have completed this last step and you can pick up the fire staff. So there you have it guys, you guys just heard Samantha. When you hear that, that's how you know you are able to pick up the ultimate fire staff. There's not many people um, on YouTube that put all these steps into one video. I try to make it as easy as possible for you guys. Um, so I put all these steps into one video. That way you don't have to go and search around YouTube um, to, fi to find out all these steps. Um, I showed you how to build the fire staff, and then I showed you how to get the upgradable, uh, upgradable version of the fire staff, um, the ultimate kick-ass fire staff. This video took me 
over three hours to make. If you guys could destroy that like button for me, it would really make it all worth it, and I would really appreciate it. Um, that's all I got for you guys right now. Uh, make sure you guys check out my other tutorials on my channel for the map origins. Um, well, that's all I got for you guys right now. I'm the Zombie Project, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.